tell me what you feel when the full moon is shining upon you and your lamp is dying out. And I will tell you how old you are and I shall know if you are happy. Okay, so that makes no sense. So I don't know what uh, Henry Frederick Emil was thinking, but uh, as most astrophotographers, I kind of hate the full moon. So uh, for tonight, I chose a target uh, that is rich in H alpha. So I'm going to be imaging the. Oh my god! <laughs> there is uh, almost a full moon uh, I'm going to be imaging the Pac-Man Nebula using the H alpha filter however I did uh, capture a few frames uh, using the UHC filter but to be more specific I got uh, exactly 10 frames out of 17 I took so I'm going to use uh, only those to get some uh, natural color and uh, everything else will be from uh, tonight's uh, imaging session that's uh, if the weather stays clear all night so I get some hours uh, worth of exposure and uh, I did want to test this kind of imaging uh, for a long time so getting a bunch of luminance data or should I say using all the images from H alpha as a luminance layer and then just adding a few color frames so uh, to get those uh, natural colors because that kind of technique could work uh, really well if you are in a heavy light polluted area since the bright city lights act uh, like you would have uh, the full moon all the time basically but yeah the weather forecast promises clear skies so I'm really counting on that because I never used only one night uh, of imaging to call a project uh, or image uh, finished and worthy processing and uh, sharing it with you guys so yeah I'm actually quite uh, excited how this will turn out but it's a bit freezing so So tonight, besides the mentioned uh, H alpha filter, I'm using the 0.63 focal reducer slash fill flattener, and I'm imaging with my Canon 600D. And uh, I don't know if this is just me, but uh, I think that the sensor from the 600D is getting a bit more hotter than uh, from my previous 1100D. <coughs> And I always make sure that I turn away the LCD screens so it wouldn't generate additional heat to the sensor. But yeah, this is just a thing uh, I noticed. And I wanted to ask if uh, any of you have uh, the same problems. Or should I say if you noticed any differences uh, while switching the cameras. Okay, but enough of that. Uh, and let me mention that tonight's target is located around uh, 1000 light years above the plane of our Milky Way. So that actually means that there is not... Uh, a lot of dust and gas between uh, Earth and uh, the Pac-Man Nebula. And that gives us uh, astrophotographers and uh, scientists a really clear view on uh, this uh, amazing deep sky object. Plus it has a really cool name. So, But the Nebula is playing host to a variety of uh, high mass stars that are more than uh, 8 times more massive than our own Sun. And stars like this are very important to the universe since they pump out uh, a lot of energy. And all those stars are responsible for shining uh, the light that helps ionizing the Nebula's gas causing the red glow which uh, we can see in the image and uh, before I forget I got uh, asked a bunch of times uh, why I'm mainly imaging uh, 600 second exposures and the secret to this is uh, actually really simple so first I noticed that uh, anything more than uh, 600 seconds I'm kind of throwing away too much images since I like to use only the best exposures so there might be a problem with guiding and that immediately resembles on the shape of the stars or there might happen that a plane or a satellite uh, passes through the image so yeah that's the technical part of uh, the answer but the practical one is uh, that I'm lazy so I don't want to take uh, calibration frames uh, each and every night so that's why I got uh, a folder where I have uh, a bunch of uh, dark frames at uh, different temperatures and I use those that are the closest to the imaging temperature taking uh, from a particular night and yeah that's my secret now all of you know that I'm lazy but okay I've told you my darkest uh, astrophotography secret which brings the 
which brings the video to an end. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know. But I would like to thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.